H2K Infosys provides world class online IT training, staffing, and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys supports 100% job oriented training, hands on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, rubber syllabus, one time pay, lifetime access to live classes and videos. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For free demo class, visit h2kinfosys.com. Okay. Uh, so as uh, discussed, we are going to start Selenium today. Uh, so if anybody has not done installation yesterday and facing any issues, okay, we are going to see and resolve the issues, okay, after uh, after the class. That is after one hour from now, we are going to uh, know stop the uh, stop the class and then we start uh, helping everyone. Don't worry, I'll take the control of the laptop and I help everyone. Okay. If unable to, if you are not able to do the installation, any issues, please focus on the today's class. Okay. Try to understand today's class because don't focus on uh, if it is not installed or any issues, don't bother. Okay. Because if you focus on installation part, so you will miss the class, today's class. So today's class is important. Okay. Whoever has already done that, okay, not an issue. Whoever are not done that, I'll help them. Don't worry. After the class, I'm ready to help. Okay. So let's start. Today we're going to start with the Selenium Web Driver. We are going to create a first program. Okay. So before we go and create a first program, first yesterday we have installed Selenium Java 2.44.0, right? The jar files we installed yesterday. We extracted the jar files. So what I have to do first? First, I have to create one Java project. I'm showing the desktop. Focus on it. Don't don't try in your laptop. First, see what I am doing. So, because this video I am going to share with everyone, you can also try on your own. Okay. And if you are facing the issue, you can let me know. Okay. Let's see. So, what I am doing now, I opened, I am opening Eclipse. See. Let's close everything. So, I am opened Eclipse. Okay. Uh, I am going to change the workspace. I, as everybody knows, I am working on workspaces every day. So, I am working on HTK workspace. Okay, so let the let the Eclipse open. Okay, let the clips open. Okay, so uh, I also downloaded yesterday Selenium Java 2.44. I'll go to the folder where it is uh, downloaded. So it is downloaded in my D column. So let me go to the folder where I have downloaded it. See, I'm going to the folder where the Selenium Java 2.44 is installed. Okay, it is installed in the folder Selenium. Okay, uh, Selenium latest jar. If you see, this is a zip file. Zip file yesterday I installed it. Okay, and uh, I unzip the zip file. I think everybody also unzip the zip file. And if you unzip the file, you see here uh, two jar files. And also when you open lib file, when you open lib file, you see these lib files. Okay, so this is the this is the part what we have done yesterday. Now we are going to create a project, one Java project. Let's see. Close all. Okay. <coughs> So when I'm clicking on the package explorer, see, I'm clicking on package explorer. In the package explorer, I'm creating a first project, which is for Selenium web driver. See, how do you create a project? Right click in the package explorer, select new, go to Java project. Okay, then type Selenium web driver. Okay, I'm giving the project name as Selenium Web Driver because I'm going to write the programs for Web Driver. <coughs> so then I say finish. Okay, so once I create the project, what I'll do, I'll just expand it to see what is the content of the project. Let me expand the project. Okay, whenever I expand the project, I have to see one JRE system library that will come by default. So whenever you create a Java project by default it shows JRE system library okay 
so then your project is created successfully that's the first part of condition you have to check when now you create a project java project it should show jre system library yes that is done then what i have to do after that i have to right click on the project right click on the project go to build path right click on the project go to build path say configure build path i'm clicking on configure build path again i'll show click on package explorer create a project right click on the project select the project select the project right click on the project okay go to build path then go to configure build path okay in the configure build path you have to go to the tab libraries you have to go to the lib tab called libraries once you go to the tab called libraries then you click on add external jars click on button called add external jars i clicked on it once i clicked on it i have to go to the folder where this latest jar file selenium java 2.44.0 jar has been unzipped to the folder i have to go there i showed you i have unzipped that jar files in the selenium latest jar folder see this is the file i go there here you have to select selenium java 2.44.0 i'll select this file and i say open when i say open you see an entry in the library you see an entry in the library the name is selenium java 2.44.0 jar okay then again i'm clicking on add external jar again i'm clicking on it then i'll go to the lips section you see there is a lips folder available okay just double click on the lips folder okay then you say control a control a which will select all the jar files these jar files are okay third party jars which might be required for selenium web driver okay these are supporting jars these are not part of selenium but these jars might help in execution of selenium web driver programs okay i select open then you see all the jar files available here then you say okay okay once you done that you see there is an entry called reference libraries if you want you can expand it you can see what and all you have added it will show in the reference libraries let's expand it if you want to expand you have to click on the arrow symbol see i clicked on it it shows all the jar files whatever you have added and if you see the path there is a path this is the path where this jar file is there and from there we are trying to add this to the project okay if anybody not able to follow i'll share this video please follow this video okay that's the reason we are recording this video okay so once we create a project once we add these jar files to the project our job is done okay then afterwards what we have to do okay afterwards open firefox i am opening on firefox i am opening firefox as i told you yesterday the firefox version should be 33.0 how do we check the firefox version you press alt press an alt button then you press tools see alt t alt t which will go tools or else alt h it will go to the help section let's do one thing alt h alt h button okay in the alt h button you have to go to about firefox when you click on about firefox it shows the version of firefox click on this you see 33.0.2 okay this is the version of the firefox so what is the prerequisite 33.0 any version is fine 33.0.1234 i don't bother i mainly prefer 33.0 okay apart, apart from that any version you have some 33.0.x i don't bother okay you don't need to worry about it okay this is the prerequisite so both the prerequisites are met i have 2.44 i have firefox version 33.0 okay and i have created a project and i added the jar files my setup is done this is a small setup which is required you have to practice by your own because it will be helpful for you 
okay so once i share the video you try to do it hands on try to follow the same video and do it okay and one more point yesterday i didn't tell you the point here is what happens in the case of firefox is the firefox whenever there is a latest version released in the market it will be updated automatically okay it will be updated automatically any version is fine 33.0 33.1 anything is fine 33 is a lit 33 should be there okay 33 version should be there yeah so yesterday i didn't tell you one point okay in the case of firefox what happens is okay if there is a latest version released 34 version is released in the market by default what happens is it will be updated if the firefox is getting updated without knowing your presence it will be updated so when it is 34 version again our selenium programs will not work so what you have to do to stop the updates what you have to do to stop the updates see what i have to do see see everybody go to alt t go to alt t alt t will open the menu bar go to options go to options see here everyone focus alt t options go to go to content tab sorry not the content tab go to general tab general or advanced is yes. yeah sorry go to advanced tab go to advanced tab in the advanced tab you see an update tab in the update tab you click here never check for updates not recommended this is the radio button you have to select okay so when you select this option what happens Whenever a new version is getting released, your Firefox will not getting updated. So everybody, once you install 33 version, you follow the same steps, Alt T, Options, okay, then go to Advanced section, go to Update tab, then select the checkbox, select the checkbox, never check for updates, okay, because till we complete our selenium web driver programs suppose for example there is a latest version 2.45 is released you try to download 2.45 and try to see the change log it shows what version it supports and try to install the latest version so if you don't want latest version just use it 2.44 with 33 it will work it's up to you based upon your requirement you can change both the things when you change jar file you have to change firefox version if you don't want to change just select this never check for updates option then it will work okay in future also it will work because the jar file will not change the firefox will not change it will work okay so that's up to you decide if you want to install latest version just again check the selenium hq dot site whenever there is a latest version you can download and also firefox also needs to be upgraded okay fine so i am ready i am ready i have done my installation part now I am going to start writing programs. If anybody has issues, anyway, I will try to clarify in the Q&A session. Don't worry. Okay, let me go and start writing the programs. What I am going to do? I am going to start writing the first basic program, like our Hello World program in Java. Basically, we will start with Hello World program, right? Similarly, I will write some small program in Selenium. Let's see. Okay, so let's go to Eclipse again. Everybody knows, right? I start creating packages. Packages are more readability. Packages are for more understanding, right? That's it. That's my understanding only. I'm creating packages. Okay, select the source folder. Okay, fine. I'll go little slow. Don't worry. I'm going little slow. Just see. See, this is a recording session. Okay, you can just do, go back and check. Okay. Uh, or else I'll try to take up in the Q&A session because uh, uh, this is the installation part. Okay, uh, let's do it afterwards uh, Q&A session. Okay, in the in the after the video session. Okay, don't worry. Okay, I'll go a little slow. Don't worry. So in the SRC folder, in the SRC folder, I'm creating a first program. Okay, so now almost I'll go a little slow. See, because I'm writing a small program. Let's see. See, I'm writing a one first program. Okay, once uh, before I start creating a program, I'll say right click a new I'm creating one class first before I create a class what I have told you I'm creating a package 
let's create a package so in java also i have created a package right let's create a package so i'll keep the name of the package as say web driver some some on the file any name is fine i'll just give web driver package name okay i created a web driver package so i am going to create a first java program i am going to create a first java program in this java program i am going to write selenium code selenium web driver code i am going to write okay so how do you create a java program see right click on the web driver new say new right click on the web driver say new say class then i give the name as google suppose for example i am trying to automate a google web page okay i have a test case what is the test case says try to open the google page and try to check the title of the page that is a manual test case i have written suppose for example if i want to automate the same test case in selenium how i am going to do it let's see again i am saying suppose for example we have written a one manual test case it has steps what are the steps it says log in to google open the log google page try to check the title of the page that is the test case so if i want to automate the test case how i am going to write the steps let's see so let's keep the program name as google test because i am going to perform automation on the google web page google test okay then as usual everybody knows if i want to execute this program i should require a if i want to execute the program i should require a main method right so let's write the main method how to write m a i n and say control space okay then select the first list right enter right this is as usual similar to java also in selenium also we have to do the same thing there is no change okay the first line of statement i am going to write see now the first line of statement for selling a web driver see okay the first line of statement i have written is web driver space driver is equal to new firefox driver okay so here we have to know two things one is what is web driver the second one is what is firefox driver these two points i should know okay let's let's discuss about these two points as i told you about interface a interface contains interface contains what's the answer interface contains 100% abstract methods okay so what is the interface here an interface is an is an is a block which contains 100% abstract methods here in this example web driver is an interface okay web driver is an interface let me write down here web driver is an interface then what is firefox driver firefox driver is a class firefox driver is a class okay so web driver is an interface firefox driver is a class then how it is possible web driver driver is equal to new firefox driver how it is possible because usually when we try to create an instance we say firefox driver is a class means how do you create an object firefox driver driver is equal to new firefox driver right how do we create object class name object is equal to new class name that's what i do it but try to what i have done interface reference is equal to new class name how it is possible because in java if any class which is implementing an interface then we can write interface reference is equal to 
ന്യൂ ക്ലാസ്നി